Shorty the Satellite and the Shooting Star. One day, as Shorty was flying through space, he felt a sudden ping on his skin. Then heard a funny clatter. Ouch! Ouch! What's that? Stop it! Get off! Come back! yelled Shorty as the thing whizzed past. But before it vanished, he took a picture of it. That's a shooting star, said Grandma Computer when she saw the photograph back at Mumbai's space station. I haven't seen one of those in years. It's very lucky to see one, Shorty. And the pings you felt on your skin were probably its golden bullets. A little later, Shorty was flying near an asteroid when he saw something shining below him. Zooming down to investigate, he found it was the shooting star. What are you doing here? asked Shorty when he landed on the asteroid. Gooey, you silly satellite! I'm fed up! I've run out of golden bullets! Good job too, said Shorty. You really hurt me! Sorry, mumbled the star. Shorty took off and continued his patrol. Later that day, he picked up some cries on his sensors. Flying off to see who was making all the noise, he found it was the golden planet. <laughs> she was crying because nine naughty moons were eating her silver ring. Look out, gang! cried the moons. There's a satellite coming back to your orbit! It's terrible, sobbed the golden planet. Those horrible little moons keep eating my engagement ring. There'll be nothing left soon. I don't know what to do. I know someone who can help you, said Shorty, thinking of the shooting star. But he might need some of your gold. Oh, that's all right. I have tons of it. He can have as much as he wants. In no time at all, Shorty was back on the asteroid where the shooting star sat, sulking. Yep said the star when he heard Shorty's plan. I think I can manage that. It sounds like it might be fun. All day long, the star lay in wait. Then, suddenly, out of space, zoomed the nine naughty moons. With a swoosh, the star flew into action. squealed the moons as golden bullets pinged their skins. Don't help! No, no, please! Stop! Stop! The shooting star landed on the silver ring. Get out of town and don't come back, you no good little moons! shouted the star, waving his guns. Terrified, the naughty moons rushed back to their orbits as fast as they could, grateful to be alive. And in return for a constant supply of gold for his bullets, the shooting star agreed to protect the golden planet. The shooting star certainly brought good luck for the golden planet, but bad luck for the moons, said Shorty with a smile. <laughs>